Hello, everybody. Okay, I'm at the terminal right now. I'm about to board uh, my plane. I'm trying to keep it focused on me just so I don't get uh, anybody else in the shot. But yeah, um, it's like 7... It, like my, my, my plane leaves at like 7.30, and it's like early 7 o'clock right now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's actually been... It's been a little bit crazy only because I didn't know uh, what I was doing. I, had, uh, I ran from like uh, like place to place to place to try to get uh, the, you know, just the stuff that I needed, and I, I don't know, I don't know, but, um, but yeah, I'm gonna see if I can, like, uh, film when I'm actually, like, taking off, but I just wanted to film, like, a quick something, uh, before I left, <laughs> as I see all the faces you guys are making, I appreciate that, okay, um, but yeah, uh, I think I'm about to board, uh, right now, so I'll talk to you guys, uh, as soon as I can, alright, thanks. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, uh, I'll, I'll see you in the next one. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but you, you get my point, okay, see ya.
on to that textbook perfect touchdown. Welcome to the Los Angeles International Airport. Thank you for keeping your seatbelt fastened and the aisle clear of all carry-on luggage until we reach the gate and the fastened seatbelt signs have been turned off. As always, extra care should be taken when opening the overhead bins. Articles may have shifted during flight and could possibly fall out injuring you or other passengers. I'll be sure you have all of your electronic gear with you when you go, your wires and chargers and such. You'd be surprised to see how much of that stuff gets left behind. If you're making a connection, of course, your checked luggage will be transferred automatically to your connecting flight. Double check your gate, folks, before venturing too far in the terminal. You know, it works with Bing as well. Just type AA, your flight number. You don't even need any spaces. Hit search and see what happens. I don't know how they do it, but it's pretty amazing. There has been a time change. The local time is now 9.19. If you're keeping track, we're not due at the gate for an on-time arrival until... Are you sitting down? Of course you are. 10.07. So if you fly often, folks, you know what could possibly happen next. Let's all keep our collective fingers crossed that our gate is not currently altogether occupied. On behalf of your entire Washington, D.C.-based crew, thank you once again for choosing American Airlines. We sincerely appreciate your business. Hey guys. All right. Oh my gosh. I just made it uh, to, to LA and I'm in my dorm room. Yo, it has been a crazy ride. Like I already uh, made that video earlier about um, when I was at the airport. Now, uh, I'm like I said, I'm here in my dorm room. Uh, this is probably going to be the only video that I film uh, in here only because I actually, I actually want to show you guys only because at how small okay this is gonna be my bed all right I just I go pick this bed that's my roommate's bed do you see how close by they are I mean I know it's a dorm room like I said I've never been in a dorm room before but you could just see how close by they are. So obviously when I film, if I was to, you know, film my vlog like right now and have any privacy. So chances are this may be like the one and only uh, video uh, that I film. Uh, I see you, Robert. Uh, I basically, I'm, I'm here for a, a summer uh, program. It's, um, I'm here to like learn how to write uh, television scripts and television shows and stuff. But, um, but yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right. Since, since, since this is basically gonna be like the one, the, but the probably the one and only time where um, you know, like I said, I'll, I'll film in here. Let me just, let me just give you a quick rundown of everything that's happened so far. The first thing, like, I, I, nothing's like bad. It's just like I said, it's just, just, it's just new to me. Okay, first off, as I told you guys, I rode a plane for the first time on my way here. I actually filmed a little, a uh, little bit of the takeoff and the landing. So I'll, like I said, I'll, I, I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but everything that I uh you know, uh, I've filmed, I'll, I'll mash together into like a video or two. I, I, I don't know, like I said, I'll, I'll have to figure that out. Thank you for all the likes, by the way. I see all the likes going across the screen. Um, but yeah, uh, I am, uh, shoot, I'm losing my train of thought. Oh yeah, I, I, uh, I, boarded, I boarded the plane at like 7 a.m. Yeah, no, okay, okay. <clears throat> to be specific, I woke up at 4 a.m. today, drove to the airport, and I, what was it, it was me, uh, my mom, and her boyfriend, and we got, we kind of, we, we didn't get lost, but we did go the wrong way. Like, we went, and, and airports are big. I've never been in an airport before. These things are massive. So... We walk in, we go all the way to the end, and they, then they tell us we gotta go all the way to the other end, and that's when we get the thing, and then we gotta go right in the middle to do what we needed to do, and no one wanted to go all the way back to the end. So we had to run around, and I got, I, let me, I got these big, ooh, I got these big booty luggage bags right here. Uh, this is just one, I mean, this one isn't like uh, too big, it's just like a regular carry-on. But, uh, this one, the red one, now, that thing is not only massive, but it is also extremely heavy. Since I am, um, like I said, it's basically filled with stuff uh, that's supposed to last me for, like, six weeks. But, um, so, yeah. I get on the plane. I'm a little nervous, you know, because I'm like, uh. But, um, I thought it was cool. Like I said, it's, it's, it's a, a new experience. Um, 
but yeah, uh, yeah, I, I see you. Oh, okay, okay, cool, Robert. Thanks. You, you said they send you everywhere. Um, but yeah, I uh, so I'm on the plane, waiting for the plane to take off, and then it does. It, like, you know, it, it starts to like roll on the on the on the runway. Like I said, I I, I shot video of it. I'll, I'll probably post it uh, on YouTube. I don't. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. The videos that I normally film, the gameplays, I'm still going to make sure that those go up Monday through Saturday. Now, the vlogs, however, I really don't know. Like, I, I, I will be filming, but as far as posting them on YouTube, I really don't know. Like I said, there are so many freaking new things and whatnot that I'm trying to get a hold of. But, but anyway... Plane takes off. It's like rumbling a little bit, so I'm, I'm a little bit scared. I'm like, <laughs> but um, but then it takes off, and then I see everything below me getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And it was really cool. Like there comes a point where I was actually in the clouds. Like that was um, really cool. But that flight was six hours. It was like six hours, and it kind of messed with me because when I landed on East Coast time, I had it was like noon. But then when I turned my my uh, my airplane mode off, it switched to uh, West Coast time. So it went from like noon to 9 a.m. And I was like, yo, what the heck? I'm like resetting my morning. But, uh, whew, but yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I, I see you, Robert. Yeah, flying uh, is it was, it, was, it, was, it was fun. Like I said, I was scared. But um, it's actually really fun. Like I'll, I'll, I'll probably like talk about that a little bit more uh, later. I'm just giving you guys a quick rundown. But basically, while I'm actually, I, I forgot to say this, while I'm actually getting uh, on the plane, for those of you who don't know, you have you can basically have two types of bags. You can have uh, what's called a, a check-in bag. Basically, if your bag is like really, really big, like my like my red one here, you that will go in, I guess, I guess you could say, in like the plane storage. And then you have a smaller bag called a carry-on bag, which is the one that you saw, and that's the one that you actually take on with the plane with you for if you want to, like, you know, do some stuff, like play some games or whatever, whatever is in that bag. The thing is, when I was going onto the plane, a guy offered to take my bag, like one of the workers. So, I don't know, just, I didn't know what was going on, so I just kind of gave it to him. But basically, he took my carry-on bag, the, the bag that I was planning on, like, I had my stuff in, and put it with the rest of the storage. And now I'm just like, dang it, like, because I had my stuff in there, and I wanted to, like, use it to kill the time. So, I'm just messing around on my DS and eating, uh, uh, uh... I'm drinking orange juice and little crackers. But I will say this. Uh, one of the flight attendant ladies, her name was Jennifer. She was really nice. I told her it was my first flight. And she gave me this little badge. Like, let, let, me, let me see if I could... Uh, yeah, she gave me this little badge as, as, a, as a, a, a first flight gift. And I thought that was really awesome. But uh, I'll just stick it. Uh, I'll stick it on again later. But, um, but yeah, so after like six hours pass, we... Uh, drop in. So I'm a little bit panicky about my second bag, and I'm like, yo, where's my second bag? But they just had to go to baggage check. So I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there, and then I get my bags. So then I leave out, and then I'm thinking, okay, well, what do I do now? Like, you know, I, I have my bags, I need to get to school, I need to get to, the, excuse me, I, I need to get to the campus. Now what? Uh, first off, I bought some food before I went on the plane in the morning because I wanted to eat something, you know, for like the six hour flight. That was another reason why I was a little pissed off that I, that I gave the guy my bag because like I said, my food was in there. And when I got my baggage and I opened it, some of the mixed fruit that I bought spilled the frick out and it, it, messed, with, it, it messed with me. But, uh, but, but, but anyway, uh, I got my baggage. I'm at the, like, I, I, and I leave and I'm like, okay, what do I do now? You know, I need to get to the school. I probably need to find a taxi or call, like, a ta or an Uber or, I don't know, whatever. Um, and then I find a, a taxi. Okay, check this out. I, okay, 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 okay. They, okay, uh, okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this respectfully, uh, obviously. But basically, I end up picking the taxi driver. Uh, he, he's, I, I, I believe he, I, okay, I, I, he, he was Asian, uh, but, you know, he had difficulty speaking English, so it kind of sounded, it was, he was basically speaking broken English. <laughs> um, so it was, I, it was, it was kind of difficult for me to understand him, but, um, but check this out. I give him an address to go to the main UCLA campus. The problem is, this is a big campus, and I did not know. I mean, I, 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 like I said, I, I've never been on a university campus before. These things are huge. I don't know if it's all campuses or just this one, but this campus is huge. 
So when I go there, I we are basically in a completely different area than what I need to be. I needed to be at a place called, I thought it was pronounced Ryber Hall, but it's pronounced a uh, Reber Hall. I needed to be at a place called Reber Hall. And I was at a place called like the Guest House. Reber Hall is apparently on one side of the the map basically. And the the place where I was at was on the other side. So it's like Reber Hall was like to the west, I think, and I was on the east side. So we had to drive all the way to the other side until I could get here. Uh, so when I get here, I, ha I had to ask like a lot of people, which is cool because I actually met some uh, Australian girls. <laughs> like I, ha I had asked them um, where uh, Reber Hall was, and they they were walking uh, in that direction. It was like four or five of them, and you know I told them yeah they asked me where I was from. I said I was from Virginia, and they said they were from Australia, and I heard their accents. I thought that was really cool. But um, but yeah, so I get here, I check in, okay, and. This is probably going to be an adjustment period, but at the moment, since it's the first day, I'm tired, my morning has reset, all I've had to eat today was some, to drink some orange juice and like a little uh, biscuit thingies, um, and, but, but basically everything here runs on a card, I think it's called like a Bruin card, and um, that basically allows you to access everything, it allows you to, you know, uh, eat, it allows you to uh, do stuff. The only thing that messes with me is that you need it to get in your freaking room. Like, I don't, like, I, I, okay, like I said, I've never been on campus before. That could be normal. Like I said, that could be totally normal. I don't know. But I actually locked myself out, like, a few minutes ago by accident. Basically, I have a, I, I think it's in my, it's in my pocket. Um, basically, I have a temp card. It's a little, a little, a little blank card. And basically, with the temp card, you input a code. Uh, so, 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 you, so you put the card in, type in the code, and then you can get in. And, and, and the code's like on this paper. And I forgot the code. Like I got, I got two numbers mixed up, and I'm just like, yo, are you freaking serious? I just got here, I'm tired, I, and I, I just locked myself out. Luckily, I was able to remember, so now I'm taking both of these with me. But basically what I do is I get my real card. I have to basically, well, like when I'm done here, like I said, I wanted to film this video now. When I'm done here, I'm going to have to walk to an office that's, I don't know how far it is, but I'm going to have to walk to an office where I can get my real brewing card so I can ditch this temp one. I don't know if I'll start typing the code. I hope not. Probably not, but I don't know. But, um, but yeah, so, uh, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, yeah, I'm here, uh, I, I, let me, let me, uh, uh, sh show you around, uh, a little bit, alright, let me, uh, I'm gonna swap it. Oh yeah, and I learned that I actually cannot jostle my phone around too much, uh, during a live video, because, uh, every single time I've done it so far, I've actually had to go into my editing software to fix something to where my talking was out of sync with myself. I don't know why that happened or how, so, I I'll, I'll swap it once. To see uh, how it goes, I, I, I don't know, but I'll, 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 I'll just, I'll just show you guys uh, my room. Okay, so this is it right here. Ow, I just hit my knee. All right, I'm, I'm gonna give you uh, just a, a, a view of it. You walk in, this is the room. You got your beds right here. Like I said, they're super close. You got your, uh, your dressers. You got the window. And then you turn around. You got the door. You got the cat, the, the closet. Closets and stuff and stuff. Pretty simple living conditions. Okay, um, shoot, I forgot what I was about to say. But that's, I think that's basically uh, it. Uh, I'll probably try to do the hallway another time. Oh yeah, but this is what kind of messed with me. When I was researching the, the, the website as to what I should bring, they said that I should bring a pillow and some towels and some blankets, but they already gave that to me. They already gave me a pillow and a, and a, 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 and it already has a pillowcase. They gave me a, a towel and a washcloth, and it looks like they even gave me some sheets and a blanket. So I, don't, I, I appreciate it, but I'm also a little bit upset, mainly because I had to pack all that stuff in this big booty bag that I won't even be able to use because I, they've already given me something. Ugh. All right. I mean, uh, don't, don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, fixing my, my... Okay, but yeah. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, like I said, I appreciate that they gave me this stuff, but it's kind of like you told me 
on your website that I was supposed to bring that stuff myself, and then I bring it, and then you offer this stuff to me, so I just got this big, this big thing filled with this stuff. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Uh, but yeah, that's uh basically what's been going on right now. I don't even really know what I'm like. I, I am, I am literally doing this on a task by task basis. Like, like I said, it's like I, I don't really know. Like they gave us a schedule of the stuff that we're gonna do, but as of the moment, there are so many things I don't know. Like, I'm actually early. They said that you wanted you should you should check in between 3 p.m. and uh, 10 p.m. And I got here, it's like 11 a.m. right now. So I showed up here like four hours, maybe, I don't know, maybe 11.30. I, I, I don't know. But um, I'm doing this on a task-by-task -task basis. Like, I'm tired, if you, if you can see my eyes. But, um, but yeah, so it's like, uh, I need to, like, the only thing that I know right now that I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to eat the snacks that I have with me. The ones that I did, that I was supposed to get eaten on the plane ride. I think, or, well, well, I don't know, because I think I can get some meals. Well, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. But, um, but yeah, I'll probably eat something. Go walk that walk to get the card. Come back. And I don't know what the heck's going to happen next. I'll probably, like, settle down. I mean, set, set, settle in, like, unpack my stuff and whatnot. But, yeah, I'm really doing this on a task-by-task -task basis. Like, I... I don't know what I'm doing right now. Like, like I said, I got lost coming here and all this other stuff. But yeah, uh, I'm just gonna try to do my best. Like I said, this will probably be the one and only video that I film within my dorm room since my roommate will be here. Like I said, I don't know who he is. I, I you know I haven't met him. Um, but yeah, I will. You know, uh, chances are I won't be able to film while he's in here. So all the vlogs and stuff that I'll most likely do will be just somewhere else. Like I said, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, yeah, I think that is, uh, uh, the basis of it. Alright, so, uh, thank you guys for tuning in, and, uh, I will guess I'll talk to you in the next one. Like I said, I don't, I don't know how this is gonna work, like, I'm, I'm figuring a lot of stuff out, um, right now, but, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated, alright? So thanks for tuning in, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya! Hi, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, remember to leave a like if you enjoyed, and leave a comment below to tell me what you thought about it. Uh, share it with your friends, too. Uh, also, if this is your first time here, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I play games, I make jokes, I tell stories, and I'll do an occasional vlog every now and then. Uh, you can follow me on the links below, and you can check out uh, some of the other videos that I have here, too. So thank you for tuning in, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya! Oh my god! I should not be getting hit at all! Woo. Like this pattern is so fucking simple. Oh my god! Oh fuck you, Rico! Man, lighten up. It's just a name after all. Fuck you, dude. You're just mad because the boat's named after my nuts! Ah! Oh god. Oh god. Look, I spell! Oh my god, I hit it on the phone! Oh god!